What's up everyone and welcome to another Zombie Panic walkthrough. The map you're currently watching right now is ZPO No Exit. Uh, it's a relatively simple map, so let's get right to it. Yeah, that's a nice intro. Anyways, you start off in this outside area here and uh, there's some guns to your left. Uh, only pick it up if you're close by because you really want to get out of there as fast as possible. Because the zombies spawn right behind you in the truck, overturned truck and they can break out of it pretty easily. Anyways, you go into here, and the next thing you need to do is to find the keys, which luckily I find them right here, and that's what they look like. So just be on the lookout for those. If you don't find it there, just look around, and uh, you'll find it eventually. Uh, there's also some, uh, am some guns and ammo spread around the area also. And go here if you need some ammo. Let me stock up. Anyways, we're heading off to the next area, which is the offices or the, the cubicles and what you need to do here is to find the key card. Now you need to be careful here because the zombies spawn in these vents up here. So just be careful of that. Make sure uh, you're watching that make, to see if any zombies are popping through. But anyways, this is the key card that you need to look for. Uh, you'll either find it in one of the enclosed offices or uh, in the cubicles. So just look through all the areas. Uh, search. I recommend doing a methodical type of search. So what I usually do is to search through the, the enclosed offices first. And if I don't find them in there, um, I look th through the cubicles. But you, anyways, you need the, the key card to get into this laboratory area over here. Uh, these doors can be kind of tricky to push open. So if you're having trouble, just uh, holster your weapon and just use a standard push. Now there's a, there's at least two ways that you can uh, defend this area because right now what we're doing is we're holding off until the neutralization uh, procedure goes off so that the doors will open to the next area. Now uh, you can either hold off the area in the cubicles like I am doing right here or you could start barricading all the doors inside the lab laboratory uh, with barricade hammers and just hold them off from inside. Uh, usually, if you have a decent sized team, I would recommend holding it off from the outside. Uh, the reason is that you can catch the zombies when they're spawning. Uh, and it's it's just uh, easier because they have to maneuver around the cubicles to get to where you are, so it's kind of... in a way it's kind of easier to hold them off. But if if you do have to hold off inside, just put a bunch of barricade hammers on the doors because they, otherwise they, the zombies will just swing them open. Or, you know, you could do both. Have, like, some of your teammates barricade the, the doors inside, but leave one door open just in case. But anyways, once you've hold off for uh, about a minute or two, uh, the doors will open and you need to go in this elevator here. Uh, you can activate it whenever you want, but just make sure that you're, all the teammates are heading over there. And if you activate it just a bit early, don't worry. Um, the teammates can just jump on top of the elevator as it's moving down. So once the elevator's gone down, you need to get through this, these walkways right here. Uh, be careful of these walkways because they can get kind of glitchy. Like you might get stuck in some parts. And there's also some holes in some areas, so just be careful where you're stepping. And uh, this door, you know, I think someone was actually barricading this place. But yeah, I took a bunch of damage. Almost took me out. Luckily, I, I found a... Uh, yeah. And also be careful of the zombies trying to rush you in. So once you get in here, make sure... The first thing you do is to barricade that door. Uh, and you need to activate the pot. And there's a lever right by the door to do that. But once you've barricaded the door and the, you've activated the pot, uh, you just need to hold off the area for quite a while. The pot is really slow uh, moving. You can you can see how slow it's moving right now. But uh, if you have a magnum, this is a good place to practice your aim. It's pretty much like a crapshoot right here. Uh, yeah, let's fast forward it a little bit because it, it takes about, I think, like two minutes or, before the pot is fully poured. And uh, now, now it's been fully po poured right here. So we're going to the next area. Now this is the final area. Um, you need to go into this small room right here and barricade it as well as you can. There's plenty of barricade hammers, so it shouldn't be too bad. And uh, 
And there's plenty of barricade hammers, uh, guns, and ammo. So, if you have a good size um, amount of team members and uh, there aren't too, or there aren't too many zombies, uh, you stand a pretty good chance of winning the match. Um, oh, and on a side note, uh, you can actually shoot through these uh, windows right here. So use that to your advantage and try to shoot the zombies as they come up to the door. Uh, the door is breakable, so make sure you have those barricade hammers in a good enough position so that if it does break, you, they still have to go through the barricade hammers. Or the barricade uh, planks, sorry. Uh, now what we're doing right now is just holding off this position until the door opens. Um, oh, and a Another note is that you can there you can actually the, see that right here now the zombies are spawning on top of uh, uh, near the ceiling of this area, and there are some valves that you can turn to seal off some of the openings from that spawn area on top. So it it'll it doesn't do that much, but it kind of gives you a few seconds before the zombies can reach the doorway. They can see it open here, and some people are trying to. You can actually uh, try to jump in early, like that guy did there. But once you're in the room, you just need to press the switch, and uh, the doors will close, and you guys win. So that was it. It was a short video. I hope you found it informative, and I'll see you next time.